What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Alolan Sand Slash team alongside with Choice Specs Flygon. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Matt. Matt, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. If you guys want to send me teams, just leave them in my Instagram DMs. There's a link down in the description below, or my name is right below my face cam. But getting started on this team, we have Arctovish in that top left corner of Pokemon that I never really use, so this one is going to be a fun one. He's Water and Ice type with that Slush Rush ability, so when he's in the hail, his speed is doubled. He has that Choice Scarf as well, so basically, Basically, no Pokemon is really going to be able to outspeed this thing in the hell. It is just going to be able to outspeed everything and just get first turn right off the rip. He has Icicle Crash for Stab, Vicious Rend for Stab, Stone Edge, and Psychic Fangs for our two coverage moves. Right next to him is going to be the Pokemon that sets weather and controls the weather for the match, and that is going to be Alolan Ninetales. Has the Snow Warning ability, so once we get into battle, Hail is going to start. Light Clay as his item, so when we get a Roar Veil up, it will last a lot longer. And then moveset of Blizzard and Dazzling Gleam for Stab, Roar Veil, and Protect for our two support moves. Middle left is going to be a big, heavy attacker on this team. Slush Rush, Alolan Sand Slash. Life Orb as his item, so he's going to be able to do more damage. Icicle Crash and Iron Head, both for our big stab moves. Drill Run for coverage and Protect as our final move. Right next to him is another heavy attacker for this team, but this Pokemon really thrives in a Trick Room. Say if the other team goes for Trick Room, we can rock out with these guys or this guy and get more of them there. And that Pokemon is going to be Glacier, Chill and A ability, Assault Vest so we can soak up some shots, and then this phenomenal normal move set that this guy rocks out with, with the Icicle Crash, Body Press, High Horsepower, and Heavy Slam. Bottom left corner is an awesome Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemons in all of the games. It is Flygon. This Pokemon is just cool all around, and he has an awesome typing of Ground and Dragon. Has that Levitate ability, Choice Specs as his item, and a moveset of Dragon Pulse, Earth Power, Air Slash, and Bug Buzz. Cannot wait to have this Pokemon on this team and use him as a back end and maybe pick up some KOs. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be Regilecki. Love this Pokemon. Can be used anywhere. This thing has Transistor as its uh, ability. Magnet as its item, so Electro Moves do more damage. And then we got Electro Ball, E-Web for Speed Control, and then two screens move with Light Screen and Reflect. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Well, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Try to get some wins with this Alolan Slam Slash and Flygon team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one, going up against a Steam Engine Colossal team. So, gotta watch out for that Pokemon. He's probably gonna lead the Colossal with the Weavile, so that could be very, very scary for us. But he also has Call Witzer, Landorus for Intimidate Drops. Uh, Rillaboom for Fake Out and Grass Glide, all that good stuff. And then Terrakion. This could be a beat up Terrakion. So maybe who learns beat up? Could be Weavile. Could be Weavile, but I'm thinking the Colossal uh, combo is going to come out here. So we're going to go in with our boy right here, which is going to be Arctovish, because I do have Fish's Rend on this thing. And Fish's Rend can do huge damage. Gotta love it. Gotta love Fish's Rend. Right? Yeah, the user, yeah, it's double, double damage. And it's going to be Stab. And if we can get this uh, weather set up, we can kind of roll from there. So I'm going to lead them too. I am going to be bringing, I think, Flygon in the back end. And then final Pokemon is going to be our Saiyan Slash. We're just going to go all iced out. And I think we should be fine. I think we should be able to rock out all iced out if we can, as long as we can get rid of this uh, Colossal. Let's try to get after it and get ourselves a win in battle number one. But, yo, this team is so cool. It's something that not many people use. It's so off meta, and it looks very strong at the same time. So I'm hoping I can get yourselves a winning record. If not, show up some cool battles for you guys today. And at least grab a little one win. Because you guys know, we never go 0-3. And we have two rules for this channel. We don't get swept, and we don't go 0-3. That's our only rules on this channel, and anything else flies with us. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, I've been streaming five plus days every single week on my Twitch page. We're doing Pokemon Unite, and when Series 10 comes out for Pokemon Sword and Shield, we're going to be hitting that rank ladder on that as well. So head down to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. It's so much fun. We're streaming every single weekday. And that's my goal. And sometimes on the weekends. It depends if I'm busy or not. But... He leads the Steam Engine with the Weavile. We drop in the Snow Worm. So, I don't even think I Dynamax here. I think I might just set up a lovely little Aurora Veil. And just go straight into a Fish's Rend. That's probably going to be the play. We go for the Gleam, but I think Aurora Veil is going to be a better option. Considering we're like Light. And I think if we can get off this Fish's Rend, even if he does Dynamax, he should be dead. Because again, we're double speed because of Slush Rush. And then we have Choice Scarf. So, even if he is plus 6 on speed, I see us just taking this thing out. No problem. It's going to be four times super effective. He's rock, and he is fire. And this is stab. It's going to be double damage as well. Because it's just that's just how Fish's Run works. When we go first. This is how it works. It just rocks out and hits like a truck. Let's see this dude's fight. Let's see what this guy's going to do. 
I just think Arctozo looks so goofy, man. Looks dumb. <laughs> like, he's just chilling there. He's gonna end up witch on you. I don't think you have any, uh, Storm Drain, right? It's Call Witcher, so that was a, that was a smart, smart move right there. Fish Friend's gonna fly through here. Boom. Still doing a lovely amount of damage, and we're choice into that now, and Beat Up is gonna fly through here. That's totally fine. You can beat up on me. So that was his Beat Up Pokemon. That's a huge turn for us right there. That's a huge turn for us. I'll take this turn, because now we get off a lovely little Aurora Veil, too. Or our Aurora Veil is set up. I see Weavile being potentially Sash, and I might just double into that with a Gleam. And, uh, what's it called? Gleam and a Fish's Rank, because we are choice into Fish's Rank. We are choice into this Fish's Rank, so we're going to hit up on you. I think I'm just going to Gleam. I think that's the play for us. Could have went for a Blizzard. Blizzard would have hit 100% of the time, which is big. Let's see this dude's play. Orville is poking, and if we get rid of Weavile, then Colossal doesn't really stand a chance up against my team. Actually, he could. Let's just see how this one plays out. Ice Shard's gonna fly through here. That's easy eats for for your boy. And I wonder what Claw is just gonna do here. Fishland flies through. Bink. Bringing him down nicely there. And Gleam should be able to come out here and pick up the KO on the Weavile, no problem, right? Yep, get him out my face. Get him out my game. That's huge. That is huge. And Claw is just gonna be able to go for Dragon Pulse, and that's gonna take me out, right? Must we eat? That'll be a huge eat for this. Oh, we're able to eat, yo. Your boy is eating because of the War Bell. War Bell definitely helping us out. And I think another Gleam takes out Kolitzer, so I can just go into yet another Fish's Ren. Unless he sends back out Colossal. He is, and I think he might protect. I think he might protect Col uh, Colossal. So I, I, I'm, I might just go in here. I might do that. Why could Blizzard... Nah, Blizzard's not to play. Alright, let's go. Let's go into Gleam. I think he protects the, uh, the Colossal, right? Is he gonna guard it? Is that his play? Maybe he doesn't have Protect. Dang, dude, I could've just went into a Fish's Ren then. Unless he guards, dude. I just, I just have a feeling he's guarding. There's no shot he doesn't, because I know he doesn't want to eat up this Fish's Ren. Let's see his play. Let's see his play. Because we still have Flygon in the back. Flygon might be my Dynamax Pokemon, because he has his Colossal out and about. Might want to try to change up weather too. He's just gonna aqua. Okay, now he's aqua jumping. Okay, so we should have went into there. So we had two ways of actually propping that steam engine and weakness policy, which is totally fine. Again, we have that we have that aurora belt out and about. Probably for the rest of the game, and he's gonna go for a bulk lift, which is totally fine. Who are you gonna go after with the bulk lift? Him. Okay, that's good. I'm surprised he still outspeeds him, but he doesn't change up weather, so I can freely bring in my uh my what? Actually, no. He can't. He's not going to be able to outspeed. I think we got to bring in this flag on to get after it that way. Can Gleam take out the fish? No, it does not. Maybe Buffets will? I don't know. Probably not. Buffets do uh, chip up a little bit. And it brings it down to a little bit of red. Just a little bit of red. The play would probably be to bring out you and just go into a Quake. And then have Sand Slash in the back. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I don't want him just like me bringing out my Sand Slash and him dropping a fire. Just rolling from there. So, let's Dynamax. Let's go into this Quake. Quake is stab, and Quake could potentially pick up huge KO for us. I could protect you, but I think Gleam is going to be the play. But Buffets will take out unless he changes weather. So, I don't want to just bank on uh, the Buffets taking him out. We're going to go for a Gleam instead. Just in case he goes for a Flare onto the Ninetales. But we have to Dynamax for Flygon. Flygon's going to come out here and be our Dynamax Pokemon. We need, we need him here, because Alolan and uh, Sand Slash is not going to take a Colossal too well. Considering this thing is proc policy, he has the Steam Engine rolling, so we got to eat up with this. While we have a Roar Bell out here, we got to go alone with this guy. And luckily, we're not flying type. Luckily, we're not flying type. And he cannot go for a ground move either, because we are levitated. I would love to see this thing go for like, a Quake on me. That'd be hilarious. I think she's going to go for a straight Aqua Jet. We're going to be able to eat that up all day. And he's going to go for an Overgrowth. Dude, are you crazy? Are you crazy going for an Overgrowth? I don't think that KOs me, right? Yeah, that's easy in this class. We're gonna chill in here. He's gonna get some HP back, so good thing we did go for that Gleam. This Gleam will take out that Coral Fish. Because I think he gets HP first and then Buffets will come out there. But there's that. Get a little bit of damage on that. And is that all the turns for Colossal? Or I think he has one more. I think he has one more turn. Left. Unless we just tell him to get out of our face now. Let's see this. Because this is Stab, and we get a nice little special defense boost here as well. Let's see how this one works out. Get out of our face, baby. Get him out of here. Strong play by me. Get this Flygon Dynamax, and we're pretty much sealing this victory for battle number one because we still have our heavy hitting Sand Slash in the back, and we have two turns left in our Dynamax. And we have a Roar Bell Rocket, so 
Get him out of our game. Get him out of our game, dude. We're not playing around today. We're not playing around. But yeah, this team's fun to use. This team is fun to use. Because a lot of them are going to focus on the uh, the hail. They're going to be like, okay, we got to watch out for that hail. And the best part is, like, if they want to throw out a fire Pokemon up against our ice, we have that Arctivish. Who is super fast, has Fishish Ren. It's just awesome all around. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. It's going to be Terrakion. He had the beat up for there in a reason. And we should just be fine here by jumping another Max Quake. And Gleam is super effective. So, buddy, buddy, dude, just cancel the battle. Cancel the battle. It's a wash. It's a wash. No need to fight this one out. There's no need to do it. No need to do it. And he is going to stay in here. This dude really thinks he's going to catch a 1v3? With a Terrakion? It's not like he has somebody who can, like, defense bulk and get a bunch of HP back, like Ferrothorn or something like that. You really think he's going to be able to do this? He'll be able to drop this Quake. Still do a decent amount of damage. We still have a War Bell because a War Bell lasts eight turns with the Light Clay. Like, if you get up a War Bell with a Light Clay, unless you're brick breaking it, you were Like, it's basically there the whole game. Hail finally stops. That's fine. That's fine. Really fine. Another Quake is going to be able to pick up this KO, I think. And a Gleam. Bump, 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 bump. Uh, let's see this dude's move. Vocal damage does do a lot. Same thing with, uh, what was the other one? The Canyon Need and the, uh, the G-Max Charizard moves. Or the G-Max Canto starter moves do the most damage. They're so good. Like, eventually, out of four turns, that will take out, like, 100-some HP. He's gonna go for another Protect, and that was stupid. Like, I don't get this dude's, like, thought process here. But, he lost. We didn't even need a Quake move. Gleam's gonna come out there, pick up the KO, alone Ninetales survives that whole match, and your boy picks up a win in battle number one. Second battle coming at you guys. We're coming off that strong first one where we just caught ourselves to win. We're going up against a Scissor team. And you guys know Scissor is an absolute beast. Very strong. One of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. Hopefully we can go back to back here. He also has the Tapu Fini, the Incineroar for Intimidate. He also has the Raichu, Indeedee, and Dragapult. So Dragapult, I think, is going to be holding that Life Orb. Scissor is, might be Choice Bandit. He might be Choice Band, but yo, we got to go Ice right off the rip. We got to go Ice right off the rip, right? Let's go in with these two. If he does give me an Intimidate Drop, I still think we should be fine with taking out a Dragapult. Or do I just go in with... Uh, no, let's go in with you. Going with you, we can go in with uh, Flygon in the back and then final Pokemon. I think we just might go all Ice out here. I think Ice could work really, really well, but I kind of want Flygon. I do have Flygon already. We gotta go all Ice out. Who do I want? Do I want Choice Scarf Boy or Bulky Boy? Hmm. I want. I'm gonna go on Glacier here. I'm gonna rock out with Glacier. I think Glacier just had, brings a lot more to the table. So let's see how this first one plays out. He could go in with Indeedy and Dragapult, which could be scary for us. And in that case, I might just set up an War Bell and protect. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. Because a War Bell could be big for you, boy. Let's see who he goes into. His lead is going to be. And Cinnamor and Pult. So he can fake me out. I'm thinking of still Dynamaxing. Like I said, that Intimidate drop doesn't really pose too big of a threat for me. Considering if I can get rid of this Dragapult, that is enormous. Intimidate's gonna come out here. I think I'm just gonna War Bell and uh, go into a, uh, a Hailstorm. Why might just Icicle Crash? Could Blizzard. <laughs> uh, let me see his other Pokemon because he might swap Pult. He might indeed swap Pult. Let's see how this one plays. Uh, we're gonna go for this Aurora Bell, and I'm I'm just gonna Dynamax. We're gonna try to get after this Dragon Pult. Dragon Pult just poses such a big threat on the table. We're gonna try to get rid of him. He does not swap, so good call on me. He does not outspeed me because we are Slush Rush. His only other option would be to protect. He could be like a. A support one, so he could set up a reflect go for burn. And that intimidate is solid. But dude, if he parting shots instead of fakes out, I'd be a little upset. That'd be a huge jump for him. See what he ends up doing. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing as well. Alright, let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. So Incineroar is gonna get a Dynamax. Wow, okay. So he's gonna try to change up weather. My low and Ninetales should be able to outspeed it, so I think we should be chilling here. Let's see how this one plays out. Hailstorm comes through, and this should easily pick up a KO. Let's see how this one. Let's see. Let's see. Right? Get this thing out of here. 
Yep. Out of my face. We get rid of the Dragapult easily. I really wanted that thing gone, but now Incineroar is the big threat. He is the big threat. We do have Flygon in the back, who I really like having here. Aurora Bell is out and about before he does change up the weather, so that is huge. Soak up some shots, and we should be able to eat up this flare, right? Max Flare coming through here, and here you go, after. You go after you. you should, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to eat that up. You do. I was going to say, your Ice and Steel. Aurora Bell, thank you very much. He changed up weather. Again, we still outspeed at least the, the Incineroar. We still outspeed the Incineroar. But I would love to get off another Hailstorm into whatever Pokemon he sends out. Let's change up this weather once again. And who's his next Pokemon? Hopefully he's a slow booger. Let me ride you. Ride you. He's going to be able to fake out. And I don't know if he, he can do that much damage on me. I'm going to protect you. And I am going to. I go for the Quake. Or you know what? I want the weather. I really do want the weather. I'd rather him not have the, the heat going on here. Is that going to come out from you? And what are you doing? Are you going to fake me out? What's your plan here? E-Web coming through. And I think. Oh no. Now he's going to be able to outspeed me. Right? Now he's going to be able to outspeed me. That's tough news. Go after my nine tails. Go after my nine tails, please. Go after my nine tails. Nine tails, man. Nope. Smart play by him. He gets rid of my sand slash, and I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it right now. So he's just going to E-Web go for speed control. I have to bring out Flygon at this point. I wish I had to protect on Flygon. Or I could bring out Glacier. Hmm. Mm. Flygon has to come out here because E-Web cannot hit him. And I wonder what he's going to go for. Dang, this one's going to be close. This one is going to be a good one. You have a choice back then. I've got, I got a choice to ground me, right? I have a choice to do a ground me. Let's take off the Sash onto the Raichu. And now do I take out the Raichu or do I take out or start doing big damage onto Incineroar? Let's say we start doing big damage onto Incineroar. See my man's play. E-Web's gonna come out here. Saw that coming. Does not affect my Flygon. He might be choice into it. Let's see. That's gonna slow down you, and I think he's just gonna pick up a KO onto the low and nine tails. But hopefully my Flygon outspeeds these guys. Let's see. Yep, he does. Bang. Some solid damage. So next uh, EP will be able to take him out. That's huge. Gleam's gonna be able to fly out here. Take off Sash on you, and a Barry is gonna poke. So I think I still think another EP takes you out, right? Yeah, another, another Earth Power will take you out because he, he's going to be out of Dynamax form. Where it comes through, go after Nine Tails, please. Yep, okay. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that turn all day. So we have my Flygon chilling here. Flygon can take out Incineroar next turn. We have Glacier coming out. And Glacier is going to be slow. And that, that's a problem for me. I mean, not really considering Flygon does outspeed Incineroar and Incineroar is not rock attack. But I can get rid of you, no problem. And then just start teeing off onto this Raichu slot. But the one problem is going to be his final Pokemon. And who do I think it, it, it is? Hopefully he doesn't have anybody who's flying. No, okay, we should be fine. I think maybe the top of Finney is our only problem. But other than that, we're chilling here. But we're just going to go into a high horsepower here. And earth power onto you. But I'm digging this turn. He can't fake out. I don't think he has protect or anything. He's just going to E-Web and slow us down. Which is totally fine. I think he's choice into that. I'm 100% I'm fine with that turn. Considering... Glacier is already going to be slowest in this battle. We take out Instant War here. Get him out of our face, right? Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Big KO there. High horsepower should come in here. Pick up the KO onto him. And should come down to a 2v1 situation with no Dynamaxes on the field. And both my Pokemon are at full health. And I have Choice Spec onto Earth Power. I'm liking this, yo. We are buzzing with this team, yo. My boy Matt sending me bangers of teams. Look at this off meta team that we're just dominating in Master Ball tier with. We get a huge Chilling Nay boost, and let's see his final Pokemon. Is it going to be Finny? That's who I really think it's going to be. Let's see. It is going to be Tapu Finny. It's going to be Tapu Finny. I wonder who Tapu Finny is going to go after. Because we could potentially eat up a Fairy Shot, considering Aurora Bale is still out and about. And we have a Soul Fest on her. And we have a Soul Fest on our guy. Heavy Slam might be the play, or High Horsepower. Hmm. I wish you could check weight. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this and see how much damage we can get that. And then just drop this earth power. This EP. Coming in hot. We do outspeed. Yo, that's lovely. Should be GG's. Not, uh, I wasn't saying that's gonna pick up KO, but just us outspeeding is huge. Special defense gets dropped, and Blizzard's gonna fly through here. Who just dodged it? Was, did my Flygon just dodge it? No, he did not. But he eats! But he indeed eats! Because he's not stabbed. Let's get it, baby. 
Heavy Slam comes through here. We're plus one, and there's KO. Let's go back to back, dominating with this off meta team. We can hop into our third and final battle now and look for a perfect record for today's video. Wait, what? What's going on here? Why does this guy have five Pokemon? Team's looking stronger though, but I I'm curious why this guy has five Pokemon. We're hopping into our third and final battle in Master Ball tier. This guy has five Pokemon. It's throwing me off a little bit, but they are strong Pokemon. He's definitely going to be leading that Whimscott, so I might want to start Slush Rushing. I think I've got to get out my boy here, right here. I got to watch out. Ooh, where do I go? Who would be better? I think you would be better as a lead, just in case he leads Charizard, because I can go for Fish's Ren. I'm going to lead the Arcto Fish alongside with the Ninetales. He has the Dragons. He has the Dragons, which scare me, but I have Ice, so that's huge. He has Dragonite, Charizard, uh... Dragapult, and then he has Rollaboom and Wimscott. We are super effective with all these Ice-type moves. So I think we should be fine here. Final Pokemon, I'm just going to bring in my boy. I'm just going to be bringing in my boy Flygon. He's been rocking out in battle number one and two. Let's get this perfect record for you guys. Yo, this guy's team is strong, but he has five Pokemon. It really threw me off. We loaded in. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Maybe he wants to try out a team, and he just didn't have the fifth one ready or the sixth one ready to go. So he's just like, you know what? We're rocking out with these five. But yo, that team keeps looking good. You give him a six Pokemon? I think you can really uh, get after it, but its weakness is ice. Heavy ice. And what do we have? Big old ice type Pokemon here. So who's going to lead? Rillaboom and Wimscott as his lead. I'm totally fine by that. He can fake me out. He can do all that good stuff. I'm going to try to set up an Aurora Bell here. And probably just go for like an Icicle Crash. Right? That's got to be our player. Choice Scarf into an Icicle Crash. Once we get Aurora Bell popping, we're going to love it. We're going to love it. Because uh, Arctovish isn't a Pokemon that I really want to Dynamax. I have two way better Dynamax Pokemon. Let's go into the War Veil. And then I can totally Blizzard next turn. But I think he is going to go for that Tailwind this turn. So I'm just going to go after this Roll Boom. Let's see my man's play. Let's see my man's plays. He had to bring Charizard. It's got to be these two Charizard and a Dragon. Right? 100%. There goes Spick out. Onto Vish. I'm, I'm cool with that all day. Sunny Day comes up. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Sunny Dang. Sunny Dang, get out of my face. Orville poking out here. It fell. Oh my lord. Already off to a rough start here. He just outplayed me. He just outplayed me. You buttery biscuit. Uh, you know, what? I'm gonna go for the blizzard anyway. I'm gonna go for the ice crash here. We're looking for kills now. We're looking for kills. I might want to swap my uh, nine tails out. Or I'll and probably end up Dynamaxing uh Dynamax and, uh, what's the name? Sandslash, and just get an ice off that way. But I'm just gonna fly through. Can we eat? We do not. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Like I said, dude, the team's very, very strong. But he just, he just did, did a great first play. A really strong first play. Oh my lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ninetales gets a crit on the Wimscott. Almost gets KO on the roll boom. That would've been huge. That would've been enormous. But I think we have to bring out, uh, what's it called? I think we have to bring out my boy Flygon and Dynamax him. Right? That's probably our best player. Let's bring him out. He's probably going to throw out Charizard. Which is scary. Yep, there's Charizard. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Not liking this one bit. And, yo, there's a fly right on my leg. He's just chilling there. I'll let him be fine here. He's just chilling on my leg. Like, I see him. He's kind of annoying me. He's in the corner of my eye. But I'll let him chill there for a little bit. But once I get done recording, his time's over. I'm going to give him a little bit of double slap action. <laughs> um, he's going to end up probably Dynamaxing the uh, Charizard. I might just protect here. And drop a... I might go for a Quake onto you. Or maybe just start taking speed. Could go for Flut... Oh, Flutterby could be play. Take out Robo and get a special attack drop onto Charizard. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm going to get a little Flutz. A little Flutz going here. But hopefully his Charizard goes there for my Ninetales. That would be huge for us. Considering we have Protect, maybe we can waste out Dynamax turn with it. We just have Sun, dude. It's scary. Because honest to God, I think that this Charizard can still take out my Ninetales through Protect. With the damage and then the, uh, the what's it called damage on top of it. The Pester damage coming from his GMAX move. And yo, the flies on my camera. So if you see him go in front of the actual like webcam, that's why. It's going to block it off. I hope he crawls a little to the left, yo. Look, yo. Uh. No, he's moving on my screen. Look, he's right in front of me. Did he just go on the microphone? Yeah. Get him, get him out of here. He's on the light. So we're dealing. We have Flygon here, and we have 
fly on the light now. Went from light to camera to other light to microphone. Now he's on my left monitor. <laughs> so we're having a good time with that one. Protect comes out from your boy. Let's see how this one plays out. He does an over. Oh, he's going for an overload. Buttery biscuit. Why going for an overload? That's kind of scary. But that's easy eats for us. I dig that. He's going to show that. One hammer flies through. Protect it. One hammer does ridiculous amounts of damage in this, uh. In this terrain. There's that. Super effective shot. Get rid of the roll boom. Fly. Stop, dude. You, you, I, I'm giving you the opportunity to just chill out and stay here, but don't don't be flying in my vicinity. I don't need that while I'm recording. <laughs> Solar Proud is going to chip up on you, and mm, I don't like this. I don't like where we're sitting, guys. I wish we had a guard, but we do not, because he's going to be able to take out my uh, take out my fly guy next turn. Dragon Pulse can come through here, and we are going to have to drop a blizzard. We are going to have to drop a blizzard here, and shh, we do not have the guard. We do not have the guard. I'm gonna end up worm winding. Worm winding. Just in case. Dragon Dodge comes through. Yay! Does the other one go to Nine Tails? No, if they double up because he's buried. Well, that's GG's. That is GG's. Solid set of battles today, though. Solid set of battles. We do have the Sand Slash in the back end, but there's no shot doing anything with it because Charge is just gonna be able to outspeed and just do his move. So there's a Wildfire. Dang, dude. Dang. He, he played that first turn so perfectly. Like, that just countered my team 100%. The fake out into the sunny day. I was not expecting the sunny day. I was expecting more of the tailwind. But once he took weather control, I was like, dude, it's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. The sand slash is going to come in here. I'm glad we were able to have some strong first battle and second battle, though. Because we did get to show off this team to its fullest potential with the ice and the flag on. We, we really didn't use Regilecki, but we didn't even need to. We didn't even need to. I'm going to run this one because, obviously, Charger is just going to be able to uh, outspeed and finish up this battle. I absolutely love this team that we used for today's video. We went 2-1, grabbed ourselves a winning record, and got to show off Pokemon that we never really use on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.